Hey everyone, it's Friday. That means it's time for another question and another answer with Ask Octopus. Today we have a question about Docker. The question is, can I host the Octopus server in Docker? This has been one of our most frequently asked questions lately, so I wanted to cover it in a video. Let's take a look at some resources and an example of hosting Octopus in a Docker container. I want to start on our doc page for Octopus as a container. We do have a section in the docs that has this information. If you have any follow-up questions after looking through it, feel free to reach out to us. But I want to draw attention to this section and in particular the example I'm going to be using today, which is the Octopus Linux container with Docker Compose. So on this page, you'll have an example Docker Compose file that you can use to spin up a SQL Server container as well as a Octopus Server container. So here is my Docker Compose file that I'm going to use for the demo. It's pretty much the same as what we have on the docs page, but I've modified it slightly. Uh, one thing to point out here on line 27 is I specifically label that I want the 2020.4 tag of Octopus Deploy. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Everything else should be good to go. So I'm going to close this and I'm going to run Docker Compose up. And this will go through and create the SQL Server for us, spin up the Octopus instance, do the install, and all the setup of the database. All right, now that that's done, I can hide that window and we can pull up that instance that's running in Docker. So refresh here and we'll log in. All right, and we have a brand new instance ready to go that we can add and customize. Now, the default Docker Compose file and the one I'm using today doesn't have any volumes mounted. So if you do destroy those containers, you'll lose your data, your task logs, your artifacts, you'll lose the database. So you'd be starting from scratch. So if you do want to use this for a persistent instance, you'll want to create some volumes that will save the state of your instance. This one is running 2020.4, but 2020.5 is out now. So I can show you how you would upgrade a Octopus instance that is running in and Docker. And the first thing we'll do is stop it and run Docker Compose down and we'll update the Docker Compose file. And for now, we'll just go ahead and change this tag on the end from 2020.4 to 2020.5 and we'll run Docker up. So again, because I destroyed those containers, it had to go through the full install again and set up the database again. You can set that up to where it persists between the upgrades, but I didn't have it in that case. But let's switch off and look at the instance. Log in again. And if we take a look, it is 2020.5.0. So yes, you can run your Octopus server as a container, either Windows or Linux. And we have examples of each of those in our documentation, including example Docker Compose files. Do you have a question about how to use Octopus? Email advice at octopus.com and somebody from our team will get you an answer. You may even see it on a future episode. Thanks for watching. Happy deployments.